Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's time for another light novel. Not, not really. Review. Welcome back to my channel, guys. This is going to be Goblin Slayer TRPG. Um, and this was sent to me by Yen, Yen On and Yen Press for me to review. Uh, it, it's, it was categorized under the light novel section of Yen Press. But it is not a light novel, and I will explain right now in just a moment. But before anything, if you haven't checked out Yen Press, check them out. They have great content, and this is one of that great content. Um, Goblin Slayer is by far a great series that if you haven't read, if you haven't seen, you're missing out. So go check it out. There is a link in the description below where you guys can buy cheap manga, light novels, and anime. So check it out uh give some love to yam press like i said um this is one that they got sent to me to review for you guys so here is my review my honest review on it and uh i hope you guys enjoy this video if you haven't seen my other reviews on them go check them out also if you don't mind subscribing commenting liking sharing that helps not just me but also the company so um okay so this is actually a tabletop rpg a guidebook for the Goblin Slayer um, world. And if you don't know what that is, uh, there's actually a whole section to explain to you what that is. And essentially, if you've ever heard of Dungeons and Dragons, it's very similar to it. So here are the things that it says that you need um, mainly to begin, to begin your session. That is gonna be participants, some friends, uh, six-sided die, um, so make sure you have some of those. Some writing tools, because you want to keep up with the story, make sure you know how many points you have, as well as what character you are, so on and so forth. Uh, a story uh, well-prepared, and that's going to be prepared by the GM, so one of the, one of the participants will be the GM, uh, also the known as the Game Master, uh, which will be leading the story for you guys. Uh, sheets, uh, adventure sheets for each uh player and character and uh, maybe even PC characters if you want to have PC characters. Uh, you want a nice location with a nice table where you guys will be sitting there for a while because the last thing that this is is that you're going to need definitely time. Um, so there is obviously time in preparing the story put in even before the game but also creating your characters. Uh, introducing the characters, beginning the story, so on and so forth. So um, there's a lot of information that the GM gets in the prologue. I'm going to pause this real fast. Sorry about that, guys. Some interruptions here. Uh, so yeah, the Game Master gets a lot of information in the prologue and uh, just how to score stuff, abilities, rounds, uh, monsters, class levels, all that kind of stuff. Um, once you get rid of all that stuff, then you hit the first chapter section, which is the characters, and within the characters, you get this guide to the character sheet, as well as basically abilities and spells and anything that uh, they they can use. So it gives you quite a bit of information on stuff, and obviously, um, I would say to have more than one copy in hand because. As a player, you want to know what your character can do, and so on and so forth. So it just gives you examples of characters, rangers, and stuff like that that you can be. Uh, sorcerers, you're going to be a sorcerer, so on and so forth. The next section is just the basic rules, how uh, the game, the tabletop RPG game, should be uh, applied and used in itself. And again, there is quite a bit of information here on just how rounds should go, how actions should be taken, um, if there is any like, um, you know, question in can I do that, more than likely you want to come to these basic rules and they'll probably give you the information. Uh, talking about information, chapter three is the information for adventurers. And this is basically, um, not just skills, but um, it goes beyond that. It gives you kind of the effects of spells. It gives you um, 
how weapons work, how enchantments work, um, what can you do, how difficult it is. And again, that's where the die comes in as well. Um, different type of arts that you can use, uh, different type of axes and swords and staves and slings. And um, just, I'm just going through all this stuff. You have even clothing that you have to consider. Um, so yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff in chapter three that is important in just even creating your character. Um, chapter four is your world setting, the four cornered world. Uh, so just kind of where you're setting up your story, how the story goes, um, the knowledge, the um, different type of creatures and monsters. The you have elves, you have lizard men. You have um, uh, different types of arts and and uh, information that you need to know. Is there gods, uh, dwarves, and and uh, what happens in the certain seasons like spring, summer, and fall? Uh, what who's affected by all that? Um, so quite a bit of stuff. Uh, the organization of classes, so nobles, the kingdoms, uh, the common men, um, the guild, how that works, merchants, and all that. Uh, the economy, how that works in into the story, and, and in between all this, you also get like nice art from the actual anime um, to just kind of go in with the story itself. But there's so many, so many stuff in that that's very, very much necessary. Um, then chapter five is a whole game master guide right there. So it's a guide for the game master, and it gives you kind of how to manage the session, how time should be managed as well, creating uh, the adventures as well as, uh, I believe it gives even like uh, examples of stuff that they can use uh, for their own adventures, um, how certain stuff works. So yeah, I think this is like, this is an example, adventure number two. Uh, so it gives them scenarios that they can follow and it just makes it a little easier, especially for those who've never played tabletop type of games. Lastly, uh, we went over the creatures to and all that. There's still a whole section about monsters and what they individually do. Uh, previous chapters kind of explain how they fit in the whole world. This chapter kind of explains uh, their strengths, their powers, all, all di different things that they do, demons and dragons and gargoyles and gilmen and evil priests and werewolves and so many stuff um you get uh, a few of the pages that you're going to need uh this is the character sheet here at the end uh, that you can rip out and make copies out of um which you know obviously you're going to want to do and yeah it's pretty nice uh book that you can grab in your store or in the link in the section below uh, personally, I love the series Goblin Slayer, and for it to have its own tabletop game, I'm excited for that. So uh, check it out. Go go give some love to Yen on and Yen Press. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I read not through the whole thing, but through some stuff just to understand kind of what it was about. But definitely not a light novel. <laughs> give some love to my channel by commenting, liking, and sharing. And I'll see you guys next time. Like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.